Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Garrig, and today you guys, I have a fantastic collection here. This is delightful, and this is from the Kawaii Paper Goods Company, and it's got a beautiful 12 by 12 double-sided paper pack, as well as a collection of ephemera. And you guys, they make beautiful little cards, and we have a scrapbook page as well, like this one. It's a secret little tuck spot in there. Perfect for adding a little note or a gift card. And this is gonna be our giveaway card for this episode, so stick around to learn how one lucky viewer can win this card to keep or share with a friend. So come play with us. All right, everybody, let's take a flip through this beautiful 12 by 12 paper pad collection. All right, so we've got this beautiful diamonds and then all these little cutouts, which are so cute. Find delight in the little things. I love the books, the chair with the books going off the edge, simple joys, afternoon reading. So if you know a book lover, this would be awesome too. Okay, on the back, and then look at this. It's got like a, like a ledger going here, and then I love the off the edge. And then look at that on the back. Okay, a navy blue, really beautiful. Okay, now we're repeating this one, this one, and then look at that one with the border here, and then a little bit of the diamond border, and then the border going here. You've got the little embellishment there. And this really beautiful um, light green with like a stencil pattern on it, it's gorgeous. And I love these right here. You've got the little UPC codes right here, which for manufacturers are helping us bundle these, pa these paper pads together, okay? We do that as well at Paper Wishes Hot Off the Press. But I love the other side because it's patterned and you can cut that off with your paper trimmer and then I've used that, I'll show you, in some projects where I've just used that as a border. So don't throw those away, they're very useful. Okay, this other one, and then look at the border on this. Beautiful. And that's more of an orange diamond on the back, kind of like a Harlequin diamond. And then this one's beautiful. Okay, so this one would be great for adding a photo. You might want to take your X-Acto knife and cut around that a little bit, or you could do a photo here and a photo here where they're overlapping. If you don't like to do your knife work. And then look at that one. Gorgeous teal color with those roses and the hummingbirds. And then beautiful blue with the little birds and all these beautiful clusters of roses. And on the back, you've got the ivory stenciled, okay? So let's take a look, oops, Oomp. all right, you're getting 12 double-sided papers and you're getting two of each design, beautiful. Let's also take a look at this ephemera. All right, so cute, you're getting 24 pieces of ephemera and it's got books and then all these little feathers and birds and these little flower motifs, which I think are so cute. Here's another one with books. And then some little words, more little flowers. Here's some leaves, a little teacup, individual blossoms. There is a little pitcher with flowers in it. This is a great little note for journaling. This is a great little embellishment you could put sort of like that over something. All right, so let me show you what I did with these. Over here, over here, okay. So you guys, this is one of our tenfold cards, all right, from Hunky Dory, so definitely check those out. All of the items are listed, if you're watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page, they're listed down below the video, and if you click on the photos, they give you more detailed supply lists, and if you're watching us on YouTube, just look below the video in the description box, and there's a link that'll take you to this Paper Wishes webisode page. So for this one, you guys, I covered this um, tent fold, okay? And I used just a strip of this navy floral paper on the right side, and then I took another strip right here of this one, and this is a good one to use if you have scraps left over. I inked the edges with my favorite gingerbread ink, my little applicator tool, and then I just glued it here and here to make the pocket, and then added some little pink jewel dazzle stickers. I use this one a lot in this collection. And then I topped it off with a cute little pink flower right there. 
Um, you could see here, here's another little die cut piece. I inked the edges of the die cut piece with that same gingerbread ink. I think, ugh, I think, I think it added quite a bit um, to just really make those stand out. And then this one I foam taped. So glued this little floral one, foam taped, and then glued this flower right there. And then if we open this right here, I used one of the little toppers and then I cut a scrap of paper to the same size inked the edges, a little one eighth inch hole punch, and then just tied that with a little length of orange and pink jute twine, and just made a little card like that. And then I just glued that little bird right there. I mean, this would be really cute to add a little gift card to, or just another little note within the card, just like that, so cute. And then on the inside, you guys, I just took a little scrap of paper and glued it there, and then just a little bit of those left kind of the end part of a um, length of the Jewel Dazzle sticker. And then once again, inked the edges of those ephemera pieces. I think it really makes a difference and then glued that right there. So this is our giveaway card and how this works is we are promoting our Paper Wishes YouTube channel. So if you are watching us at our Paper Wishes webisode page, you'll notice there's a little YouTube icon right down here. And if you click on that, it'll take you right over to our Paper Wishes YouTube channel. And then we ask that you subscribe, that you watch the video, like, and leave a comment. And then we're gonna wait about a week and then we will choose one person's comment and we'll reply to it and we'll say, hey, congratulations. We'll use your YouTube username, so you have to remember what that is. And we will give you instructions on how to claim your card. And it's really helpful if you click that little uh, notifications bell at the top right there. That way you'll know whenever we post a new video on YouTube and you'll know when we are leaving you a message if you're the winner. So definitely participate in that. We love giving away these cards. And then check back to see if you won. All right, so here's another one. This is a five by six and a half inch card. And for this one, I used that really great border paper. It's that one right there. And um, just added that. Of course, I love to use this gingerbread because I think it goes so well with those sort of peachy yellow flowers that are on there. It really picks up that color. So once I cut my paper down, just a little bit smaller than my card, I actually wrapped the paper in a length of this bright pink jute, okay? And then I inked the edges of this cutout and I foam taped that right over the jute. And then I added a black Tiny Words and Phrases Dazzle sticker for best friend. And then inked the edges of this piece of ephemera foam taped, that right there, a little jute bow there out of orange and then added that little pink flower. This really a quick and easy card. All right, and then this one you guys, six and a half by five inch, and then I cut an inch and a half off just the front part of the card, okay? And then the inside took some of that um, ivory stencil from the very back of the paper pack and I covered that. And then this is just a little, one of those cutaways that I was talking about where, you know, save those little pieces because I just glued that right there. Added one of those cute little pink Jewel Dazzle stickers. That's definitely a theme here. This, um, of course, absolutely ink the edges with that gingerbread, front and back. And then this is one of the toppers. I just cut that out, and then I foam taped that to the card front of the flap only. Just put some foam tape like right there, and then just set that down on the top. And then here's another little leftover strip. Remember those little cutouts? And I just cut a little dovetail, glued it right here, glued a flower on it took a couple of lengths of jute twine, held them together, added a bow. So for me, it's these tiny little 3D elements right here that just really make the card a little more special and also not quite so flat. So it just gives you, and they're still perfectly able to mail those. Little bit of sparkle right here too. Quick and easy card, you guys. All right, so for the last one, we have a page for you. So for my 12 by 12 page, Another great one to use for scraps. So for this one, I took this beautiful paper right here and I just cut it. So this is a four by four inch photo. And then, so for this, I just cut it. Oh, let's, me let's measure. I usually don't measure um, when I'm doing my scrapbook pages. So let's see, what it, let's see what the measurements are. So that's eight inches 
and then once it was torn, it's about four and a half. So I went ahead and tore it to four and a half, inked those edges, okay? And then glued it right here, so it's just a little bit above this little piece, and then um, inked the edges of that little journaling piece and glued it right there, and then this mat right here, this one is just about six inches, and then tore this bottom edge to six inches, and then inked those edges, matted the photo, glued that to the center. That's another one of those little cutoff strips, and I tore the edges and inked it, glued it across the photo. If you don't wanna get ink, um, if you don't wanna get glue on the front of your photo, just glue it here and here. And then the little simple joys, inked the edges of that, put a little bit of glue right behind that on the border, and then got a little double, like if you're wondering why my bows look a little full, it's because I always take two lengths of jute to tie the bow. Makes it look a little more special. Glued that right there. And then right here, I inked the edges of those, just that little sprig of leaves, and I glued that, and then I glued the flowers right over it here and here very fast page to put together, okay? So you guys, um, we just really think this collection is gorgeous. Let us know what you think of um, the Kawaii paper goods. We This is new for us, and we think they're a fantastic company. So definitely, we want your feedback on that. Let me clear off my table a little bit here. All right, don't forget to participate in our giveaway, you guys. Um, thanks for joining me today, and we'll see you in the next one.